What's good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Jump. <sighs> NBA players are pretty stupid. Uh, very dumb. Um, some of you guys don't like it when I say that, that NBA athletes are dumb, but they just are. Um, they're not that bright, okay? NBA athletes are what they are, stupid, okay? And you brothers don't like that, but it's the truth. NBA athletes are dumb. Not all of them, but many of them are dumb, okay? And one of the dumbest ones uh, that I've seen such thus far is Jay Crowder, all right? Jay Crowder is um, you know, a role player guy. You know, he's been to the finals back to back for the Heat and he went with Miami this year, uh, Phoenix Suns rather this year. Um, it's funny, right? The Heat and the Suns. But it, it seems like Jay Crowder, like many athletes, they're thirsty for everything but winning games. You know, um, again, can't shoot free throws, um, can't read or write, but, but when it comes to trying to get some booty, there they go. All right. And after, you know, having broken up with Dana Lambert, his ex-wife, and now probably feeling a little lonely. I don't know, because you have a lot of money and a lot of time. You know, let's just jump into random Instagram booty models inbox. All right. And this is exactly what he did. OK. Now. A lot of guys get exposed for DMs, all right? Now, I have some thirsty ones out there, but it, it hasn't been in the last maybe six or seven years. But this is pathetic, okay? Our boy Dre Crowder decides to really sandal it up, okay? And what did he do? He gets into the dating of the inbox and goes, dating music! Hey love, you have my attention. Send me your snap, please. Sorry, I don't know if you're into black guys or not. Can I get... Oh, my God. Sound effect. Oh, my God. Well, <laughs> looks like the answer is no, Jay Crowder. And this is the lady that, you, that you've um, posted the picture of. She is not necessarily the most beautiful lady in the world. I mean, she's okay, but I mean... I mean, I don't know how, you know, you you have her attention. I mean, if you really want to see good looking white women, and I'm not even into them, they come to Poland. I mean, Poland got some of the best looking white women I've ever seen in my life in, in Ukraine. I'm not even a person that's like a European girl lover, but I was in Ukraine. And listen, I ain't gonna lie, stop the show. I almost did a Shannon Sharp in Lviv one day. Seriously, I seen a white one. She was so fine. I almost, I, I almost sold out. Okay, but it was the, the the ancestors really got me together, player. I was ready to I was ready to start getting my OJ on. But I don't see what's so great about her. Okay. But not only did she not respond to you, she put it out there for the world to see. And you would think that a guy that makes the kind of money like Jay Crowder, that he wouldn't be simping like this. And every guy thinks that, you know. Making $9.258 million a year, you would have game. Money doesn't make game, and dating coaches are right about this. Because you don't have any confidence. Because when you don't have that to lean on, or the fact that you have that check mark, and um, you know, I found out that some of you guys pay ten thousand dollars to get verified, I guess it helps you get Instagram booty or something like that. Okay. I, I, you know, so once you have that Instagram booty going on there, once you can't use the fact that you're rich or that you're an athlete, these guys don't have no personality. I would have I would have hopped in her, in their inbox and asked her if I could rub on her kneecaps from the back. Now, that would have got an LOL, okay? But he's not smart like me. Again, I don't dunk basketballs for a living and shoot fadeaway hook shots. I mean, this guy's an idiot, okay? Now you're out here getting exposed at 31 years old. And, and I mean, I don't even understand like, why are you guys even, 
you, 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 you guys don't have enough groupies like in your cities and stuff like that. Like you can't get anybody. Like, are you guys that dumb? Are you that thirsty? And then you wonder why nobody likes athletes. I told you, it, athletes are some of the best and worst things that ever happened to the world. All right. And you give these guys who, who are not that socially socially astute, a lot of money, a lot of height, okay, a lot of Jordans, a lot of Nikes, and you think that these guys have it all. These guys are still dumb. Many of them. Okay. And then, I don't know if you're into black guys or not. Let me get into that. Unfortunately, you know, you have some of these guys who really love white women so much and other groups of women that why is it even a race thing? Like, what matters if you're into black guys or not? Okay? You, you should be, listen, you look good. What's up? Because if she's into black guys, what does that mean? Like, I, I just don't understand that with a lot of guys. So if a woman's into black guys, does that mean that she's into black men because of what they look like? Because let me tell you guys this. Like, if a woman that's a Caucasian or non-black woman, if she likes with black men um, just because they're black, fine. But what about those things does she like about the kind of black men that she wants to date? That's the difference. Some of these guys out here, you know, want to deal with white women because they like black guys because of the style. They like black black guys because of the phenotypical things, because of things that don't even really make any sense. Like you like black men because of the phenotype. Then that means any other guy that comes across that looks decent or, or as tall as the black man, she would be able to deal with them. But you know, if you're going to date interracially, I would at least feel more comfortable if a woman says, okay, well, you have these characteristics. I mean, you just happen to be black. That's cool. I'm open to dating a, a guy that's black because of who he is or because he's a nice looking guy or the race. But some of these guys, and I, I noticed this, this is you have a lot of times in California. A lot of guys really want to deal with white women who just like black men because they're black. But those black men don't have anything to bring to the table, but their penis. Are you into black guys? Oh, so you just want to have sex with black guys. Cool. I'm going to get me a white girl then. Like, that's how some brothers are thinking, you know? And the, and, and and those kind of chicks that, you know, will just want to deal with you because you're a, a black man or whatever. Like, why does it matter? You should have more respect for yourself that, listen, this is who I am as a person, whether you like it or not. As if her group of people are so much better than you. So what's the point of you having that $9 million? Though? You're, you're a top tier athlete. Who cares if you're black or not? Like, why does that even matter? And again, when you're lame, when you don't know how to talk, okay, when you're used to women just being thrown at you, and it's a difference between when, when, you, when you have to go out there and kill what you eat. And what I mean by this is that, is this. When you're a guy and women don't know who you are and you have to sell yourself to them, you can't use the fact that you're an NBA player. You have to get your number for this up for yourself. You know, when guys, when girls come to the Suns game and everybody watching on TV, that's easy. But if she don't know you and don't care, because obviously that girl didn't care. It didn't matter to her who you were. Now you look like a dummy. Stop the show. Because you are dumb. That's for sure. You're an idiot. It didn't make any sense to do that. But guys, what do you think? It's your boy, O'Shea Dude Jackson. Back at it again. Another episode of the Celebrity Jump. I really appreciate you for all that you do. Subscribe with the bell. Check out the first comment at the top. Check out the black and her perfect t-shirts. And as you know, the buffoonery remains at an all-time high. I'm out.